everyone, Niamh here, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough uh, of my new deck. This is the Prisma Visions um, Tarot deck from James R. Eads, and also the uh, book that I uh, just got. Now, this is, of course, the other one, the Cosmo Visions Oracle, which I've already done a walkthrough of. I got this one a couple months ago, um, and uh, I just brought this one here to kind of show the uh, the two bags that I made because I've already shown the Cosmo Visions bag, but I just finished making this one for the Prisma Visions yesterday, and of course I wanted to make them match as much as possible. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pull them out here. <laughs> We've got the Prisma Visions and the Cosma Visions as soon as I get it out. Now these are the pocket sized uh, decks. Um, here we go. So that's, I don't, gotta make sure I'm in frame here, but yes. So I am actually in my ritual room here. Um, this is of course the uh, backsplash that will be behind our uh, stovetop. Our kitchen is currently being uh, remodeled right now. Um, in fact, there were supposed to be workers here today, but uh, they never showed up today. Um, so kind of perfect time to do the video <laughs> since I don't have banging and stuff going on in the room right next to this. But anyway, <laughs> so um, I think I did a pretty good job uh, sh uh, kind of replicating the feel of these decks. Um, this this one for the Cosmo Visions, the embroidery I used here, very similar to uh, the design on the box. Um, of course, I, I didn't have anything with eyes. That would have been perfect because both have the eyes for visions, you know, um, but I just couldn't find a, an eye embroidery that I liked for this or that fit with this. So I kind of went with a more lotus theme. Um, and uh, of course, with this one, it's more of an open lotus, like our flower of some sort from the top view uh, that sort of mimics this. And this one uh, doesn't mimic the cover so much as uh, it does that it's um, just a, it's a lotus from the front and it kind of has this jewel look to it, but they both go together and I really like how this turned out. And the inside fabric really um, does a good job uh, sort of... Uh, being inspired by the artwork of these decks. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and reorder <laughs> this deck because it's out of order right now and we can do a quick walkthrough of this deck. All right. Okay, so I have reordered the deck uh, because I have been kind of messing with it and playing around with it. Um, and by the way, this this actually this video took me a while to get out because um, one, I received I I ordered this at the beginning of July, and I received my package uh, right before I went on vacation in mid July, um, like the day before I was going to leave for vacation. And when it came in, uh, it, they actually accidentally sent me uh, um, the Cosmo Visions, the little Cosmo Visions. And I was like, oh man. <laughs> so I contacted them and said, um, you, you sent me the wrong deck. Uh, I ordered the Prisma Visions and yada yada. And they were very nice and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. And, you know, of course I couldn't send it back until I got back from vacation because it, I didn't have, there was no time to send out a package. So um, I sent it back at um, right after I came back and they sent me this deck and this came in at the beginning of this week, I think. It was like uh, a couple days after I sent out uh, the other deck, I got um, my deck in return. Um, so I finally got the right deck. Uh, and then um, we had workers here every day and I wasn't sure about um, doing the video. And then I decided that, you know what, I want to complete the bag before I, I do this video because I really just wanted to show the bag. So, um, so yeah, so this is, I, and I just finished this one yesterday and today the workers never showed up. So <laughs> I guess we're going to do this. All right. So, um, this deck is, uh, just like with the Cosmo Visions, there's a, a strong emphasis on, uh, past lives with this deck. So it's, it's really the kind of deck that you would use um, to explore past lives or something like that, you know? <laughs> so um, the Cosmo Visions is 
uh, technically an oracle, but it's also you can also use it as a tarot because it is 78 cards um, and there's suits and all of that. And it's set up kind of like a tarot um, and I was planning on using it as a tarot. Uh, but um, once I got it in and started using it, I realized that I, I really want to use these for their intended purposes. So, um, so that's why I, I went ahead and decided to get the Prisma Visions. Um, now this one is uh, straight up a, a tarot, and I do believe it follows the RWS system, um, but there's a, the theme of it is past lives, so they're meant to be used together. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and uh, look at these cards here. You know what, I might zoom in. Okay, um, little off here. Let me let me move this here. Okay, so, um, yeah. So it there is these all have the traditional tarot names, whereas in uh, the Cosmovisions there a, there are different names for each uh, major arcana. Very cool. I like kind of like that one. That's pretty good. Um, now as far as the size of these cards, um, I. I do prefer smaller tarot decks uh, because I have really small hands and so the smaller size cards are usually easier for me to shuffle. However, I will say that I, oh, this is, this one's pretty. I will say that I think, um, I think these ones are a little too small. Uh, I wish they were a little bit more bridge sized. Um, and I guess that's just a personal opinion. Um, they they're great for nice big spreads because you know they don't take up much space uh, but uh, I do wish they were a little bit bigger they're they're a little bit too small for me Oop, I really like this double card that's really cool hope I'm in frame still okay <laughs> I keep moving out of frame tower very interesting this one's cool very neat. Okay, and the moon, the sun, judgment, a door, very cool, and the world. Okay, so that those are the major arcana. Um, for the minor arcana, because they are scenic, um, and they all connect together. I'm going to lay them all out together. So let's do that. Okay, so here are all the wands and the chalices. Uh, I didn't have enough room to put all four suits out at once. Um, and I also didn't have enough room for the court cards. So I'm going to do the court cards at the end here. Um, and the court cards do connect uh, to the, uh, <laughs> to the uh, full panoramic image here. So um, I, what I do also like about uh, this is that each suit kind of feels like a season. Um, the wands feels very summery and vibrant and the chalices are a bit more like spring. Um, and then as you'll see with uh, the swords feel very um, wintry and the, uh, the pentacles feels very uh, uh, autumn. So um, yeah, and it's very beautiful uh, panoramic uh, view here. Now it does make it a bit different for um, when they're all mixed together because you're very rarely going to have them all out in a pan panoramic view like this. So is it a gimmick that it's like that? I don't know. Maybe you could argue that it is kind of gimmicky because when are you going to have it all out in a panoramic view? But maybe there's something in the book about that. So um, I guess we'll wait and see. All right, so I'm gonna lay out the uh, swords and the pentacles next. All right, so here are the swords, which feels very wintry. Um, and here are the pentacles, uh, which feels very much like autumn to me. Um, and I, I definitely love the pentacle suit. And pentacle, the pentacle suit is my favorite suit in general um, with the tarot. Um, but yeah, I, I love the bright uh, yellowy oranges and things like that. Um, so typically my favorite card in a tarot deck is the Eight of Pentacles. And here we have it. Uh, getting a kind of a close-up of <laughs> let me see if it will there we go um 
and so she is busy uh, watering the flowers so that that kind of fits with the that uh, eight of Pentacles meaning there so we can still uh, glean uh, the um, meanings of the cards based on the individual cards not just in a panoramic view here we have the ten of Pentacles which is kind of that family tree uh, legacy type of uh, interpretation or at least that's my interpretation frequently with the ten of pentacles or community something like that um, and yeah so we still get those store sorts of meanings uh, with the individual cards um, and so it is really cool that they lay out like this all right so now I'm gonna lay out the court cards real quick um, and then we can start talking about uh, the book and uh, the little pamphlet that came with this. Okay, so I <laughs> couldn't quite get them all in here. I'm trying to move the camera around so you can kind of see. Uh, but these are all the court cards and they do connect to their corresponding, uh, their corresponding uh, suits. So uh, I'm going to see if I can zoom in and then just like move it around a bit. <laughs> Not sure if I can really get this. Here we go. So... There's the wands, the chalices, the swords, and the pentacles. All right, so <laughs> let's look at the uh, book and stuff now, and the and the card, <laughs> the cards in general. Okay, so um, the cards are really nice. Like they get this really pretty um, silver gilding on it. Um, I, I do like, oops, I'm dropping the cards. I do like the, uh, the gilding in the Cosmo Visions a bit more. It's kind of this like black holographic, which I think is super cool. Um, and the silver, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, I like it. It's cer certainly nice, but I do like the black uh, holographic of the Cosmo Visions a bit more. So that's just a personal opinion. Um, so shuffling, uh, I mean, they are quite small. This is a very small deck. Um, and so I can riffle, I believe. Let me, I know you're not technically supposed to riffle gilded edges, but whatever. Yeah, I I have a actually a difficult time shuffling this because they, they don't, there's not a whole lot of bend to them because they are so small um, and they're reasonably thick so it's quite a chunker here <laughs> it's quite a ch quite a chunker um, and they are kind of uh, small and I have very small hands so um, yes so I they kind of just need to be shuffled overhand uh, like this and yeah that's that's fine um, they they are matte um, and yeah, you know, all the, all the card stock stuff. I, I'm not a card, card stock connoisseur. <laughs> um, so the box, uh, I do really like these, um, these tins, uh, much more than the, uh, gentle tarot in a tin. Um, I don't know. I, I think they kind of dropped the ball or, or made choices with that tin that, I don't know. For me, they didn't work. However, the Cosmo Visions and or the Little Visions uh, set, I do like their tins. They are very nice. Um, I I kind of wish there was a hinge on them and they weren't just two separate uh, containers, but it's fine. Um, or two separate p pieces, I mean. Uh, so each of these decks comes with a little pamphlet that does a sort of uh, quick uh, quick guide into the. Uh, meanings of each card um, there's not just a few keywords basically um, and then there's a little bit in the uh, front here that you could pause and read if you want um, now the back is very cool it's kind of uh, I imagine this is something you could possibly cover color or you could use it as a um, something to lay out on for like a spread or something I mean you'd have to bend it in a way so it so it didn't keep bending like this but um yeah you'd have to flatten it but you could use that as that so a nice little pamphlet there um so now I'm going to talk about the book which it was really what I was excited for because I really want to use these decks for their intended purposes. Um, I, I had an idea of how I wanted to use the decks before I got them, or before I got the Cosmo Visions. But after I got it, I realized that I really do want to use this deck how it's intended. So I got the uh, Book of Prisma Visions, and it is also the uh, Cosmo Visions Oracle book. Um, the, it's a like a flip like that. One side is 
this and the other side is that um, and the pages do flip uh, halfway through so yeah I, there's some dustiness on this book already from uh, all the construction going on in our house um, so there's there's just dust everywhere <laughs> I'm trying not to get it on my nice cards and nice books and things like that but anyway um, so yeah it's hardcover really nice it's kind of a coffee table style book uh, I am gonna go through a little bit here not too in depth um, but uh, really nice artwork in here. Um, look at that. Uh, it, I have no interest in getting this particular deck. Uh, this was the, um, the other one, like, and it's kind of purple colored. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really have an interest in that one. Uh, I think it's the same as the Prism of Visions, I think. It's just in a different coloring, and I personally don't really care for that uh, purple and um, kind of beigey color but that's just a personal preference <laughs> um, but yeah anyway um, yeah and here's the panoramic view of all the cards really nice so um, yes uh, getting to know the Prisma Visions I, I'm definitely going to do a sort of deep dive of these two decks uh, probably together or one right after the other I don't know and I'm not sure when it's going to happen but I really do want to use it for its intended purpose so um and of course we have a three card uh spread here I really want to use I, I really want to do the spreads in this deck um I'm thinking about using these past life spreads especially for uh using this deck in ancestor work um yeah so and then it goes through each card uh really it gives the upright and reverse meanings i don't know that i'm going to use reversals with this i don't normally use reversals however uh this deck does specifically use reversals so i don't know maybe i will maybe maybe i won't but i don't typically use reversals so i'm resistant <laughs> to uh using reversals with this deck we we shall see um anyway so i'm gonna go th the each major arcana has a nice full page and a full page artwork um let's see is it the same with the minor arcana hold on let's see strawberries what is this so the world well i definitely didn't have these cards strawberries the gift I don't have these. Illumination. I wonder if this is an expansion. The Winged Bear, Boar. Uh, Reverie. Tiny Elephants. And that's it. Hmm. I'm definitely going to look in and see where I could possibly get these cards. All right. And they might not be available for the, uh, the mini versions that I have. All right. Oh, my dog is barking. Oh, I hope the workers didn't just suddenly show up while I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> All right. So, yes. And they, so they have the same thing for the, um, for the minor arcanist as well. And then on the reversal side, the Cosmovisions, um, some really nice stuff here. Whoops. Pages are sticking a little bit. Um, yeah. And here's laying out all of those. Uh, how to use the cards and there are some spreads in this deck or this side as well uh, and I think I did the life map I saw it uh, shown somewhere and I think I did this for one of my ancestor work things I'm pretty sure I'm not sure <laughs> I don't remember completely but I think I or at least laid it out um, yeah so I'm definitely interested in doing all these uh, spreads and really really understanding this deck and how I might use this deck in my, uh, in my practice. Um, very, very cool. Uh, let's see, what is, oh, right. These were the, and the, the setup is a bit different because you start with death on the Cosmovisions. Um, yes, because that's, this is like after the Cosmovisions is like after you die. Um, but anyway, I talked about that when I went through the, uh, when I went through the walkthrough of um, that one. So, yes. Oh, and then there's extra cards here too. So, Life on Earth was the, the world. Um, then, Sleeping Shifts. Oh, that's just one extra card. Huh. 
I wonder if they'll have those cards available in the um, small version. Anyway, so a uh, really great book. I, I cannot wait to really get in, uh, to deep dive into these two decks. Um, and I'm really happy with the two uh, bags that I made. Let me turn on the flash real quick so we can kind of maybe see, see these a little better here. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I definitely, you know, I went with greens for the Cosmovisions and uh, blues for the Prismavisions. Um, yeah, really happy with how these turned out. Um, beautiful cards. All right, I will stop talking <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.